Vladislav in Lithuania. Hmm. I think I don't know that I've ever gotten a question from Lithuania. So thank you for this. Um, people on YouTube, oh boy. <laughs> don't trust people on YouTube, including me. I mean, who knows? Um, anyway, people on YouTube claim that they took apart dozens of speakers and upgraded or even redesigned crossovers with high quality components, and they started to sound way better. Is that real? Is it when you take, for example, one K-ish speaker pair from, let's say, BMW, and put in a f and put four hundred dollars of crossover parts, add some magical damping stuff, and it starts to play at a two to three thousand dollar speaker level? So, is it all kind of worth it? Does a crossover have a kind of multiplier in its value compared to other speaker parts? Or do they just sell good parts, but heavy lifting of making you believe now the speaker sounds better, it's up to you. That's probably a translation thing because I don't get what you just asked me there. But anyway, crossovers, well, first off, with a speaker, number one important thing is the driver because that's our piston and the better the driver, the better the sound we're going to get. Number two, crossover. Number three, cabinet. So in that order, if you have decent drivers, then the crossover makes a huge difference. And what's hard about all of that is that you hope whoever designed the crossover put enough time and energy to make sure the drivers are doing what they do in a seamless fashion. Because that's the trick with a crossover, right? We know that a crossover is the frequency dividers that keep the tweeter tweeting what it should be tweeting, and then the mid-range doing what it's doing and the woofer doing what it's doing in the ranges of frequencies where they're supposed to work. Woofers are woofing, mid-ranges are midding, and tweeters are tweeting, right? And they're not trying to do the job of the other drivers. So that's what a crossover is about. The trick with a crossover, though, is the blending. How do you that point where if it's just a two-way between the tweeter and the woofer. That junction between the two is really hard, and that's where designers put a lot of effort into it. Having said all of that, whatever you wind up with, the quality of the parts can make a huge difference. As much as the drivers? No. But it can make a big difference. So it depends what parts they use in the first place. I've looked inside of a number of crossovers that have really crap parts. Capacitors that are like, oh God, they, they, sometimes they even use electrolytics in it, bad stuff. So by replacing those parts, you can make a huge difference. Does it double the value of the speaker? I, 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 I don't know, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't even know how to judge that. Can you hear the difference? Oh heck yes, absolutely. Especially in the tweeter. That's the part where I see a lot of cheap speakers have cheap parts in the tweeter, and usually the tweeter is just a capacitor, not much to it, but that capacitor can make a huge difference in the way that tweeter sounds. So, hope that helps. All right, thanks for the question. See ya.